When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun We've got the bees and the bee master and definitely go check out LSR adventures down in the comments. I'll link them in there. Good morning friends and welcome back to the homestead. So today something exciting is coming to the farm. We are going to get in the side by side and we are going to head down to the orchard and I'm going to show you what's coming. Birds have one more week. Friday will be their last day here on the homestead, and then it'll be freezer camp. Alright, so Hubby and I finally decided what we're gonna be doing with this area that we cleaned out. This is up against the rock. There is a lot of glass in the ground, so we don't want to put animals over here that are gonna root and possibly injured themselves by getting stuck with glass. So instead, we are putting bees down here. Robert and Sherry from LSR Adventures are coming down now to bring me some bees. So I've got this set up. I need to get the hive out here and put together so that way when they get here, we can go ahead and put the bees right inside their new hive. Well, at least I think that's how it's gonna go. We'll see when Robert gets here and he'll show me exactly what we're gonna do. I still have a lot to learn, but you know what? You just gotta jump in and learn as you go. If I wait until I'm ready for bees, I'll never be ready. So here we go. Let me go ahead and get this set up and Robert and Sherry should be here any moment now with some bees for me. All right, so Sherry and Robert just got here. I have even got this out. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna meet them and they'll just come down here with us and Robert will show me what I'm gonna do. So let's go get them. <laughs> All right, friends, I'm here with Robert, Landon and Sherry and they've got my bees in the car. Let's sure take do. a quick look. So they're all covered up so that they don't come out and you know attack Landon which was sitting right over there while they were driving here. It is what two hour drive? Hour and a half? Two hours. About, about two hours. It's a two hour drive. It's a little far to be driving with bees. A little scary. But they look good. So we are going to actually walk down to where I showed you we're going to be putting them and my lazy butt who didn't get the hives out. Robert's going to show me what I'm going to do. <laughs> We've got the bees and the bee master. <laughs> uh, maybe not a master. Bee master in training. <laughs> All right, so we're up at our spot. And Robert was just telling me that this is a good area because it's going to have morning sun. We've got lots of clover right here in the grass, which they love. Anything else that's good about this spot? Um, it's not right next to your house. <laughs> yeah, definitely plus. not next to the house. My father-in-law was getting a little worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and not real close to the dogs either, which is good because yeah. they can get irritated. Yeah, the dogs can't come down this way. Yeah. Now, is this too low? So, one of the things that they recommend is about 12 to 16 inches off the ground okay. for skunks and possums. Okay. Because then they have to get up and scratch the front and they don't like exposing their bellies. So, what I would watch for on your hive is look for scratch marks. Uh huh. And if you do see those, then you can get like carpet tacks. The tack strips you put on the edge of like carpet when you stretch it. Uh huh. Because then they can't scratch as much, it'll hurt their hands. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna run inside and make some sugar water and it's a one-to-one -one ratio 
so that we can put that in with the bees. That way they have plenty of food until they are able to go out and forage for themselves. So let's, uh, let me run to the house and get that set up and I'll be right back. I got stung probably six or seven times already so bad idea I'm gonna go get a long sleeve on and I'll be back Robert did tell me to wear long sleeve before I did this and I didn't listen I didn't get stung on my arms though, I got stung on my legs. <laughs> so we've got the smoker, we've got it going, so we're gonna go ahead and now transfer these bees over to their new hive. And we're just gonna calm them down a little bit with some smoke. Alright friends, so we have officially got our hive all situated and they are doing good. We found the queen, so that's a huge thing and Robert says I should just let it be for about a week before I actually go in there and open it up again. But I am going to be coming by and checking to make sure that we don't have intruder bees coming and trying to get in and steal the honey. If I see that and Robert showed me if they're going around the side or if they're fighting on the landing then I need to go ahead and change that reducer to the smaller one that way they can better protect their hive from any of the surrounding neighboring bees that are trying to come in and take their resources. Our bees have already found a great place to get some resources from. This is directly in front of the hive and that's a good sign. We have tons of clover all over the grass as well and we are noticing bees all over there. So let's take a quick look at the hive and see how it's doing. It's been about a couple hours since we set it up. All right, friends, Robert and Sherry are gonna be heading home. We've had a lovely afternoon. Cannot wait to get in here and check these bees every time I get a chance and see how they're growing. I've got Robert here to show me what I need to do and I, he's just a text message away and even, he said even come down and help me with my uh, first couple inspections. So that is gonna be huge. So thank you guys so much yeah, for no coming problem. out and yeah. giving me some bees. Thanks for the seeds. <laughs> You're welcome. And the mushrooms. And mushrooms. So I gave him some seeds and mushrooms. That's nothing compared to a beehive. I mean, you <laughs> cannot. Yeah, we got a rooster. Speaking of yeah. rooster, what did Landon end up naming the rooster? Uh, what was it? Um, I forget. It was one of the ones that Monica said. Yeah. Uh, oh, one of the, um, uh, was it a Star Wars one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure he doesn't even remember. <laughs> something Baca. Uh, yeah. Chick Baca or something like that. Uh, 
Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Yeah, okay, was. that's what it was. We're awful parents. We don't even pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He says it wrong half the time. So. Yeah. Hey, that's a kid for you. But at least he loves his roosters. <laughs> he does. <laughs> All right, friends, so we're going to be heading out. Thanks for stopping by the homestead today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and definitely go check out LSR Adventures down in the comments. I'll link them in there. Until next time, friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs>